Continuing my series of reviews of vegan foods by a non-vegan, myself, today we've got Nourish or Nourish, plant-based alternative to camembert. So yeah, this is a cheese substitute. It claims to be a plant-based alternative to camembert. It's presented in a little wooden box like you might find camembert in the shops. And let's have a look at the ingredients. So the ingredients are water, coconut oil, modified starch, sunflower protein, salt, natural flavoring, acidity regulator, lactic acid, sugar, color, which is beta carotene, and then ferments. Ferments will be presumably some sort of culture inoculant ripened and packaged in a factory which produces camembert and plant-based foods. So it's been made in the same factory as cheese, which I guess they're saying because of the possibility of slight cross-contamination. Lactose-free, gluten-free. So this is a vegan cheese substitute and there it is inside the box. Now it feels quite firm, although it's got a little bit of give to it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So at first glance, it does look like a soft sort of ripening cheese, which is a hopeful sign at the least. Let's have a sniff of it like that. Yeah, and it smells apart. It does smell like a uh, ripening cheese. I imagine this is probably, um, this is probably the same surface mold here that they use for making rinds on camembert and so on. Okay, well, let's have a little look inside, shall we? Not as soft to cut as camembert, although, you know, when it's underripe, maybe. And that's what it looks like inside. So the appearance is kind of, kind of convincing. I would say it's much firmer than camembert or brie. Doesn't really have very much distinctive smell here inside. I'm going to taste a little bit on its own, just like that. No, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a little bit firm and a little bit dry. And I, I wonder if it would ripen more than this. Perhaps I should buy another one sometime and ripen it. The end date on it is the 17th of October. So it's got about another three or four weeks to go beyond the date of recording today. So maybe it would ripen a bit more than that. Perhaps I'll buy another one and test it. In fact, I'm just gonna cut another piece here because next to the rind, where it has actually ripened a little bit, and softened. You can see there's a softer bit there at the edge and that's actually really quite cheesy. If I didn't know that was plant-based I would guess that was some kind of camembert knockoff so maybe same sort of cheese but not made in quite the same way or not made in the same region with the same milk or whatever. I would not guess that is a dairy-free product. It tastes like it's made with milk. So what about in the context of how it might sometimes be served? So I've got some Nice crackers here. I've got some uh, apple and cinnamon rye bread and some whole grain crackers. So what about if we just have a little bit of that on a cracker? And I think I'm gonna have a little bit of pear with it actually. Just a tiny little slice, well, quite a big slice actually, a pear. Let's give that a try. Yeah, that works. I'm just gonna try it in a slightly different context here. Now, this is not non-dairy butter, this is dairy butter. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of it on a buttered rye cracker with a bit of my odds and ends homemade pickle. Link in the video description if you don't know what this is. This is a kind of British style chutney. Let's see what that's like. Mm, that's good. It's not as stinky and oozy and ripe and cheesy as a camembert, but that could just be because it's underripe. I think I'm going to swap out this butter for something that's plant-based as well, and then we're doing a kind of fair tasting. Okay, so we've got this uh, vegan spreadable here, which is kind of my favourite non-dairy spread at the moment. It's quite nicely salted. Now there will of course be people saying, why am I buttering crackers? Some people do, some people don't. 
I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. It works very well as a substitute for the soft cheese. I'm not gonna say it's the same as Camembert. That would be really silly because Camembert is a very specific thing and it's adored by many. However, it's, it's quite a good substitute for cheese. So I suppose we're gonna have the usual thing about this is processed and so on, but cheese is a processed product anyway. It doesn't fall out of the sky. So um, there's nothing really in here that concerns me as a processed ingredient. Yeah, cheese is not exactly a natural product either. So I suppose as usual, we'll have the question about why. Why does this product exist? Why are people making fake cheese? And I think the answer to that is really that the reason why people don't or can't eat dairy are not the exact opposites of the reasons why people like to eat cheese. This product exists to try to cater for people who can't or don't want to eat dairy, but would still like to experience something close to the aesthetics of eating cheese. It's as simple as that. And I would say that this achieves its goal quite convincingly. So there we go. Nourish or nourish plant-based alternative to Camembert. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.